and welcome back to the channel and haven't been posting anytime soon because only we have but they got um took down so we're gonna be taking it easy for now might not be doing as much hunting but we are gonna be doing some fishing because hey if you ask me it's never a bad time to go fishing so we're back we got a mystery tackle box right here and um we're gonna be seeing what's gonna bite in it we're gonna be trying to use as much as we can and catch as much as we can with it's in here and it's about 40 degrees and we're in about central alabama so i mean it's chilly but i mean hey hoping to catch some fish and um maybe we'll catch some good ones and now i'm gonna show you what's in here so i've already looked in here but we got a crankbait so that might do good we got some crawdad looking things saw crawls apparently they're called um exo swims i never had any luck with them but maybe we will today and a, a spinner bait so um and it also comes with a pair of hooks which we might could fit them um exo swims so hey maybe we'll catch us some good fish today and so hey i'll catch you when we get them tied on so it's a good sign because I can smell the fish a lot now. They're definitely hitting. So we got this little Guggen spinner bait tied on. Now I'm going to throw it some. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be as aggressive, but maybe we'll catch them. And the sun is um, going to be setting here in just a little bit. So I'm going to be trying to hurry up. And catch some fish. So didn't catch anything right here. Um, I'm gonna switch to something else. Maybe something else will uh, get it done. Cause I mean, yeah, um, the sun is going down kinda, so we're kinda trying to hurry up, catch some fish. So we got one of these crawdads on. And it's not on there the best, but it's on there. Got a little bead and the bullet weight. So maybe we'll catch something now. And so now I'm going to be showing you a little, telling you a little bit about a new baby goat we got, which this is a Nubian goat, so it doesn't, he act on my fingers, but he didn't come from the uh, goats we have over here, because they're boar goats, which are meat goats, but a Nubian goat is a dairy goat, and um, God blessed us with them for free, they didn't have to pay nothing for it, it was a Christmas present, so um, I'm going to put him down, but I mean, he's um, still being bottle fed. He's about to be weaned off, but um, he's eating feed out of my hand and stuff. He's eating hay and everything. And we named him Benjamin, which means son of my right hand or son of favor in um, Hebrew. And um, I mean, because he's a great goat. He's super sweet. He'll run. He'll chase you around. He'll follow you. So, I mean, he's a really sweet baby goat. And so like a lot of things in creation, I mean, Benjamin could kind of remind you of something in the Bible too. And it's kind of like a story in Leviticus in chapter 16 where they were taught, or these um, uh, priests could kind of come out and they'd bring two goats. And they would um, basically cast lots, which is kind of like flipping a coin. And they would um, basically sacrifice one goat and they would let the other one back into the wilderness. But before they let that one back in the wilderness, 
they put their hand over it, and they would basically, basically kind of like they were putting the sins of Israel that all of the Israelites committed on that goat, and they would throw it, and not throw it, but they let it release it into the wilderness, and they let it run free, basically. Like, all the sins of Israel are just being washed away, and they are gone in the wilderness. But God sent his son, Jesus, who is also God, to come to this earth to um, die for us so that all of our sins could be washed away and that, hey, we don't have to um, worry about having to kill a goat or anything like that because, hey, we're free. I mean, God um, sent his son, Jesus, to die for us. And, I mean, that's something special that no one can take away from you because Jesus was basically taking all those sins and he was washing them away because, I mean, Jesus threw all those sins so far farther than the east is from the west. So, I mean, that, I mean, like I said, that's something special no one can take away from you. Because, hey, Jesus covered all of it, no matter what. So just know that, hey, if you want to ask for forgiveness for the sins you've committed, all you got to do is just tell God you're sorry. And if you're sincere and mean it, then, hey, you're forgiven. And if you believe in God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you love Him with everything you got, then, hey, when you live on earth, you'll go to heaven. So, I mean, hey, that's something that no one can take away from you, I mean, and it's very special. And, I mean, hey, if you have something you want prayer for, we can put it in the comments too because, I mean, that's something we can really do because, I mean, hey, I can pray for you and maybe other people can pray for you too if it's something you don't mind sharing. So, hey, there's just an idea right there. So, I switched to the call to Dad. Um, we didn't catch anything on it neither. So, we got this little crankbait on. It's called a golden boy. But it dies three to five foot, and we're thinking since it's kind of cold or chilly, then, um, Maybe the fish have, are, went deeper, so we're gonna see. Cause they gotta be want something. I mean, they gotta eat sometime. So maybe we'll catch this one. Oh, we got him. We got him. That's him. Thank you. Oh, we got him. That crack bait works. The golden boy. Woo! All right. First fish of the day. We didn't get skunked. Hallelujah. They were just wanting a crank bait. That's all. Man, he's been eating crawdads though, even though I had a crawdad on. Wow. Look at this sucker. He's beautiful. But I don't, I'm going to try to show you. But if you can see his lips are kind of red, that sometimes means I think he's been eating crawdads. He's, a lot of his mouth is red, so. I mean, man, <laughs> I feel so much better that we caught a fish now. <laughs> so, man, I think we got a winner now, boys. Catch you later. All right, <laughs> so now we're going to keep fishing with it. Though technically, I was going to think the fish was each one and try catching a fish, but this seems to be the only thing working, so I'm just going to roll with it because we want to catch a fish. <laughs> And what this crankbait really does is that, you know, it dives deep into the water because it's got a little bill at the end of it. And it, when you reel it really fast, it comes in front of the fish or the bass because it mainly catches bass. And when it comes in front of them, then the, um, the bass will see it and then they'll think, hey, that, that looks like food. And then they'll automatically react to it because it's just instinct. It's always a good idea to get out, and hey, fishing is one of those ways because, I mean, hey, you can grab your um, mother, father, brother, sister, granny, niece, nephews, uncle, like, it don't matter. 
you can grab them out of y'all go fishing because it's a great way. You never know what you might catch, even if it is a January the 16th with 40 degrees. <laughs> so, maybe we'll catch something over here. But it feels good that I just catch that at least one fish. <laughs> So, um, that um, Mystery Tackle Box Challenge, well, I mean, we didn't catch that many fish. We only caught one, but, I mean, hey, it, we, I can tell you one thing. We caught more than, um, we caught more fish than we would have if we were sitting on the couch. So, um, I mean, hey, I'm grateful that we caught it, and, hey, it's always fun. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, hey, I want to encourage you to, hey, get off the couch and go fishing, and, I mean, because it's very fun. You never know what you might catch a lot of times. I mean, because there's a lot of stuff you could catch. I mean, it depends on which lake you're at or pond. But, I mean, there's a lot of cool fish you can catch. And you don't have to go fishing. You can do all kind of stuff. But I also want to encourage you that maybe if you're not saved, you know, just, hey, you just um, just really just ponder on it and just know that, I mean, hey, we ain't here by um, just a um, mistake or we ain't here by um, just chance. But we're really here. God really created us and he really loves us because, I mean, we ain't just a bunch of random cells and atoms made up together because each thing is so precise and so to the point that there's no way it could have just happened by accident. So, I mean, hey, I just want to encourage you that maybe if you don't believe in God, if you ain't sure, just know that, I mean, hey, He is real and that you're either saved or not saved. There ain't no in-between. So I want to encourage you to give your life to God and ask Him to forgive you of all your sins. And I mean, hey, thank you for watching this video. And please like this video if you haven't already. And subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, I'll catch you later outdoors.